I'm in your way, Michael. I'm just yelling at me. possibly can and I know this is just a standalone soaker tub mainly just because I wanted something that always thought these looked awesome get done correctly I always thought these look beautiful so I wanted to do one I found one for you guys but obviously you could do the same thing in a regular tub you'd just be wanting to mask off a little bit and we have some other videos on that and go over some of that so remember this is your live for you guys so ask any questions let us know where you're watching from the bottom like this you'd want to remove your drain still most likely um, if you could or just mask it off and we have a couple of really good videos going over that as well so sometimes my job goes easier than I think and sometimes it doesn't so we'll see what today needs to Happy little accident. What's um, this? No, I, I just, this makes me mad. Somebody said, do people pick black for tubs because it makes it harder to see when dirty? No, I don't honestly know if that's necessarily. We're just picking black because we just thought it would be an awesome ba base color, a background color that's going to show our color because we're going to broadcast this tub. This is probably, if you're watching this, this is Levi's plan to break the internet. I think this is going to be one of our best. We've got a lot of people vote on what gets the broadcast color that gets blown into this and this is going to be an amazing tub to see done so but you kind of it's kind of funny whenever you broadcast it really matters if you're blowing onto a broadcasting onto a light or a dark background it'll be totally different so you might be bored now but you're about to watch me mess up um somebody said is this the epoxy you can use vertically Yep, um, this is not our same as our outdoor flax that we generally would broadcast a flake in. This is our actual oh, tub coating. Ver like vertically, like our wall. Oh, vertical tub. Yes, this is our vertical, and this is not a wall epoxy. This is our tub coating, so it's a little different than our wall, but this is our tub and sink coating epoxy. And then we have one you can actually trowel too that doesn't sag like this. So it just kind of depends on what your project is. Okay, I'm not sad about the drips either. That might look bad. Good. And usually, once you kind of get it spread, my last rule around here is not to actually um, spread the product, but it is to just even it out and make sure that you have one really homogenous, even coat in here. And any little debris, like right there, I think I just found debris. And if I do see debris, I need to remove it now. has a special agent in it that's a surface tension product. We will start helping it kind of level on its own some as well, but it definitely won't be hurting anything to kind of speed that process. Just nice, even strokes. Looks like she likes it. Where are y'all watching from? We're in western Colorado. 
Somebody laughed at your comment. no fumes um yeah so most products even if they advertise that there's zero voc still have a significant amount of voc uh, because most companies um, can just advertise with up to three percent harmful voc on their product without telling you there's a product right here along with some of our countertop products that we manufacture specifically are made to actually not have any of those harmful chemicals so so this is a very rare product that you can actually pour without using a respirator. They said the tub looks bigger now. <laughs> yeah, I love you guys. <laughs> My bad, that's kind of funny. I'm not too impressed with my ability to pour everything out of a... I'm really good, it looks like, at pouring everything directly onto the ground. So... <laughs> They said because of the nice even strokes. Nice even strokes. So much for those, huh? <laughs> They're super excited you said that. Okay, I am going to pull this tub over and get my last little inside of the tub done. And yes, I figured this would look like I might be struggling for a little bit, but... They said that would look cool if you left it drippy like this well, on the side. The drip effect would look nice. Would it, it would. Especially depending on the color we did. Do you do epoxy floors too? I do epoxy floors, countertops, walls, floors. What do you guys use to clean it? Just soap and water, guys. Just soap and water. worried that you're taking it from the dirty floor. Oh, this is a brand new plastic, guys. I'm not too worried about it. You see a tiny bit of dust on it, but you see what we're about to spray on this. Would it get gummy from hot water? Um, if it was wet still, hot water would not work on it. How long does this take from start to finish to do a full tub? Well, if it's me doing it, it might take quite a while because I'm not like finisher but you're a good tub finisher guy and this is a, and you did like a normal tub just in a bathroom you'd probably be working on it for two hours from start to finish so especially once you get a little bit of experience knowing what you're doing um is the epoxy sensitive to heat no it's not there's a very temperature resistant product right here um, they wanted to know if this is like someone's tub no, this is just a tub for the shop. This is just a fun tub that we're doing just to just to kind of showcase some of our tub and sink coatings here, guys. What inch is the deepest deep pour epoxy can get? Um, we have a really good three inch deep pour, but um, you have to realize that the speed of cure you're gonna get on a really slow, really deep cast cure so that you don't exit there. And it's really just math. I mean, I can slow our coatings down for people if they need it. We, we can change the speed of some of our products, um, but it's not that you necessarily want to. It depends on, depends on kind of the effect you're trying to achieve and what the product you're working with is. So, Would you still be able to do this over a jetted tub? Yeah, you can do this over a jetted tub. I'd want to be careful and definitely prep it correctly so you sand really well so you get that really good mechanical bond. Would this chip over time? Um, you know, I, this is more durable than any tub coating on the market. I know that for a fact. And it's about seven times thicker than the very thickest, highest end tub coating you can get. So, Is this considered food safe epoxy? This is food safe. Very, It's the most food safe epoxy in the world. If you really want to say who says it's food safe, um, that is the FDA that basically says whether your ingredients are compatible with the food safe 
safety ingredients list. And ours have actually been at the very top of the good safety ingredients list for years. However, I must say, if you want them to be healthy, don't expect the FDA to protect you. Um, can this work on shower tile? Um, yes, this is not the exact epoxy I would use, but I, I generally pour panels if I'm going over tile. Um, or we have a trowelable epoxy that works really well as well. Um, so. I'm going to show the kit because they're wanting to like see the kit. No, sorry. no don't be sorry. Yeah. Um, there's so many questions. Um, if that is a new tub, would you need to use a bonding primer as your base? A uh, bonding primer? No, I actually sanded it so we get a really good mechanical bond, and then I just wiped it really lightly with a little bit of acetone and then back with isopropyl alcohol, just making sure there's no contamination or anything in it. Um, somebody said a gold paint around the rim would be killer, which it really would. Honestly, yeah. Sounds classy. Gonna finish this off. This is going to be crazy. This is we're doing a translucent color shift powder on top of this right now. Yeah, for anybody that's going to still be here with us. How slippery is the tub? Um, it, it would be like it was the same exact finish as it was when it was brand new. So I mean, if you don't want a slippery tub, you want to put something in it. But I would not say that this is any slip, more slippery than the brand new fiberglass that would have been on it when you first. When we very first poured it, so. What is this tub made out of? Um, this here is just a fiberglass tub. Yeah. Made out of fiberglass. I have lots of, love, probably, of child slave labor in the factory, most likely. We're going to make templates so you can make your own tubs. You don't have to Somebody said do a blood colored drip around the top. A blood colored drip. And then pooling. You guys are getting crazy. <laughs> Dexter's on the action. I like this. Yeah. No, I'm not against you guys with ideas. They said very cool. I can just imagine the possibilities. Sports colors, racing stripes. Racing stripes on the tub. Hell yeah. Wait till you guys see the color shift. I think this tub is curvy. Like, everyone's bloody. So when we put the color shift on it, you're hella really. I'm just trying to really like massage this until I get it nice and even. That's why I'm rolling it over and over, kind of focusing on a spot as I'm, I'm actually holding almost all the pressure off the roller because I don't want any additional pressure. I just really want an even, smooth layer. Ooh, somebody said black. Black milk bath with like red roses because some people like bathe in like milk so oh, that'd yeah. be pretty yeah, yeah. sorry people used to do goat's milk who did goat's milk that's famous for a free class tell me who did a goat's milk bath that was really famous a couple thousand years ago she's a <laughs> and her name was sounded oh. like bath mm-hmm. Bathsheba. Bathsheba? Bathsheba I just was gonna say that learn your Bible stories. They might have said that. I don't know. It's going so far. Somebody did guess Jesus. I, I'm not very religious. I don't really like church. I grew up a Seventh-day Adventist, and if you want to meet a bunch of hypocritical Fs, it's most of them. But I did learn about Jesus, and I love that guy because he's the real reason why. They're wondering how to, like, stop it from pooling in the bottom. You know what? It's already... I left a little excess down there on purpose because I was really worried I might need some. And I'm just going to... So get right up with my roller and push the rest out. But it's actually a lot less pulled down there than you think. It's really smooth around the corners. So I'm just going to basically even it out to make sure I, I want this to be a smooth layer more than anything else because slowly as it cures, that surface tension, tension agent will actually pull this product together and help make it quite a bit more, say, even and level than it really is right now. Florida guy here says he likes the taste of epoxy. He likes the taste of epoxy? Yeah. I think this is a guy that was in my class that saw a guy eating epoxy most likely, but, and I like where you're going with that. But I just thought I'm it was funny bad. that his guy. name is... Florida guy is <laughs> Florida guy's a badass. He didn't like that. He was my epoxy eater. He was stuck next to my epoxy eater, I think. 
Yeah, if you teach classes long enough, let me tell you. They want to know the brand of epoxy. This is countertop epoxy by countertopepoxy.com, guys. Who wants to hear the worst story of me trying to figure out how to flush a toilet in China? <laughs> so I went to China a few years ago and I was showing how to do epoxy furniture to a furniture epoxy place that we sell epoxy to. Um, and um, I showed up in China about three days early and I showed up in a really remote district. And I think I'm probably saying this wrong, but Guangzhou. So not a lot of, at the time, because of the trade wars and the tariffs and everything, there wasn't a lot of love for Americans when I showed up there. So they told me I couldn't eat at the restaurant a few times downstairs. And it's probably my fault that I was probably getting the language barrier wrong or whatever. So I was like, eh, it's not a big deal. I was staying in a really nice hotel and really nice people put me up there. But nobody was there except me. I was by myself. So I'm, the story gets personal. So then I, um, I go into the fanciest toilet I've ever, ever seen. I have remote control glass on the wall that turns colors or shades or anything. I'm on like the 30th floor of a big high rise building. Um, I do my business on the toilet and I look to the right and I see 55 buttons that look like the Starship Enterprise. And I didn't know, I thought, man, all I want to do is flush this toilet. So I saw one big red button and I thought that must be the simple one that just flushes the toilet. <laughs> it has to be. So I pushed the button and what the hell do you think happened? It set an alarm off in my room. It was always burp, burp, burp. My phone starts ringing. There was a knock on the door within 30 seconds. The toilet's not flushed. I'm trying to flush the toilet because I don't like the best. Um, it was like a heated seat with lights around the toilet. There's 30 more buttons. I think I sprayed water in the bathroom because um, it wasn't sitting when it sprayed its water thingy. And um, they'd come knock on the door because I'd set off a panic alarm like I was an old person that had slipped and couldn't get up. But they couldn't speak English, so they didn't know if I was okay, so they're coming in my room and everything. And I took a screw out of the window and tried to reset the alarm on my own. That didn't work. So long story short, if you don't speak Chinese and you can't read it on buttons on the wall, you should Google stuff before you try to flush a toilet. I did figure it out. They showed me how to flush a toilet. They turned off my alarm. And I think, long story, they just figured out there was a stupid ass white guy in the room that didn't know which button, button to push, and they probably got a good laugh. That I kind of, that passed, and about two year, two days later, I met my, my crew showed up, and they all spoke Chinese, and they were downstairs talking to the staff, and I could tell that they were telling that story about me setting the alarm off. <laughs> And it wasn't my proudest moment of travel. <laughs> okay, guys, this is going to be amazing. I'm excited. Let me grab my torch really quickly, and I'm going to light the torch just here. And check my camera on. Battery. Another five. Ooh, that looks. Michael's going to do a swap out of the battery. And uh, I'm going to do a glitter drip here today with you guys as well. So I've a lot of crazy stuff with this one for Somebody said, everybody knows you don't push the red button. You know what? Uh, Everybody knows you don't push the red button until that's the only big easy button and all the other ones were random buttons with other shapes on them. They thought your story was funny though. Don't, don't over torch this guys. It would be better to torch lightly a few times on this and come back over it and torch two number one. Okay. have to breathe. That is actually a, I'll tell you what, here's a good example of something I would rather, Ooh. not that, um, here's a good example of something I would rather take care of now. I'm going to come back later and have something, there's something actually stuck to the edge of my tub that will not come off. I have a little stuck at something that I am going to, I still have time, we're not in any hurry because we're being organized, right? So I need to find it in here. I have a razor blade. It's a whole lot easier to deal with now. I'm going to go right back over it with a little bit of product. Do we do garage floors? We do do garage floors. Those are, we do a lot of very um, decorative floors for anyone that needs it. Our summer's getting full, so if you need me to come out and do any of your floors, definitely let me know sooner than later because my summer is getting packed already. But we are taking. Is this a kit you're using? Oops. Yep, this is our kit for tubs and sinks. And this is a single kit I poured. Do pretty well. All right, that's good. I got it. Let's see if I actually have a piece out.
I don't want to over torch. And if you notice, I mean, I'm very direct, but I'm also moving pretty quickly. And like I say, I want to deal with any issues that I need to as I'm going. I don't want to go past any little bumps or bubbles or this needs to be perfect on our first shot. I'm going to over torch something thinking it was a bubble. Can you epoxy over steel gates and steel yard deck? Um, you know, I would say you definitely would want to make sure you got a really good mechanical bond, and then I would limit the products that I put to it. So kind of an outdoor flexible product, because it can stay flexible for that thermo shock and expansion and contraction. Because that's the biggest thing you deal with with epoxy and bonding and stuff is if it's an exterior environment, is that thermo shock, expanding and contracting. So you want to make sure you have a really good mechanical bond to that actual substrate. So you don't get delamination or flexes. Where are we located? We're in Western Colorado, Grand Junction, Northern City. You know, the glass sometime and you will love it here. It's probably, you know, it's probably one of the prettiest areas I've ever been in my life. I've been in a lot of places. That's why I like it here. Just don't talk to too many of the people and you won't mind it. Unless you're from Grand Junction, you guys are amazing. They're mad that they can't hear you over the torch. Not can mad, you, but... Can you not hear me when I'm torching? Can you use this on an automobile? On a what? Automobile. You know, some people have um, epoxy to automobile panels. I don't exactly teach that in my classes because it is your car, and I don't want to. I don't want to mess your vehicle up. But um, I have seen some. We have one guy that does really awesome work on Harley Davidson. He's done some gas tanks and stuff like that. And we have one guy that does the back of his truck. We have a lot of people use a resin that we mix especially just for um, carbon fiber and um, fiber glass because they say it glasses out better than any resin they've ever used for it. How long does it take to cure? hard to even see anything in this tub. I think we did that pretty well though. It's really good while you're torching to do your final inspection guys. Because once I start spraying that powder, I don't want to be coming back and fixing any little low spots, getting the bubbles out. If you have a little piece of debris, you're not going to want to be dealing with that once you start um, broadcasting any of your particles or powder or anything. So make sure you get it now. You'll see little bubbles pop, and those little bubbles, if they pop through that layer, and there'll be a few. And it won't matter, but it'll still But here is it. What's the key? 
cure time? The cure time on this, I'd generally just say overnight. That's my answer. Uh, that's kind of a cheesy answer, but um, and good temperature, you can very I'll get that. You know, and if it's a good temperature, you can very easily cure this out in about 12 hours. But if it was to cool down or something, it might take you a full 24 hours to cure it. So I would just say, like, try to cure everything out, you know, 75, 80 degrees minimum, and you'll have those really fast cure times you're looking for. It's so usually when people start getting uncomfortable and they're like, I like it 68 in the house right after I pour, and then of course you're gonna have a little bit of a soft cure. Just cure slow. Temperature plays a large part in how fast something cures hard. and this is what really will tell you half the time what your problems, what your mistakes were. Well, all the settling to have to happen now though, because if it settles after a broadcast, you'll see a big old, big old stretch mark. <laughs> Even though there'll be a few little drippy areas now, but you'll see that surface tension additive will take care of a lot of that, and we'll see that kind of settle into place. Um, I'm gonna check my temp on my crazy weird glitter pour here, and we'll be ready to probably pour a bunch of glitter and then come back to this one and broadcast our crazy pour. I've been excited about this for like four months to see this tub finish, so I'm gonna mess this up. That looks awesome. awesome. Make little messes on the board. Jason said, I'm surprised Levi hasn't got a kill all pedophile shirt in the mail yet. You know what? I am having the office make one. Um, a shirt that I says kill it. It's going to say kill your local pedophile. I think that'll be a good one. But this is my hustle gear shirt, and I love it. So I think it speaks a lot for today's message. What is the price on this kit? Um, what are the prices on our tub kits? Cheaper, like 150. I believe they're 189 or 150. I feel terrible, guys. You just asked me the price of the tub kit that I definitely sell. I believe they're 159 or 200. We have it all linked in our bio. I believe they're 159. I should know, too. I'm freaking racist. I'm the worker. I'm the guy that. I don't have a mix, I don't have a spread. Somebody said Noah is a fictional character. Noah is a fictional character. Well, someday there'll be lots of fiction. That, that will, there'll be a lot of things someday that I think people will think are fictional, and there won't be any of that. So, yeah, no, I think a lot of things people think are fictional. Do you not need a respirator? No, that's a good question. I like that question, and we get it a lot. But it's, I'm loving that people are starting to actually care about the health product they're working with and most products whether they advertise it or not they can put three percent very harmful very high uh, volatile organic content in the actual coatings you work with and it stinks to know that three percent of something hidden is in there and if you're pouring gallons I mean you realize you're you're breathing several fluid ounces of very poisonous product so now just so you guys know I'm pouring this very hot because I don't want this to set up for a long time and I wanted to create lots of drips. So right now, this product, I'm gonna temp this, what I'm working with right now, and I'm probably actually gonna torch it a little more while I stir it, because I'm gonna create a drip effect off the edges of this, because I don't want the product to be able to completely um, settle prior to it curing. So let me check my temp here. 
117. So now normally we're going to be pouring at about 80, 85 degrees, and this is 117. I'm going to get us up to, we'll see. I'm going to get us up to, we'll see. And we're going to pour this hotter than hot. Hot like your mom's pants. Do you recommend? Make too many comments. Huh? Do you recommend pouring it that hot? I do not recommend ever pouring it this hot, guys. Remember, <laughs> I don't remember ever. Do you guys see me light stuff on fire? I do all kinds of dumb things that I would never recommend you guys doing. torch your product like I do. Watch that temp guys. If this hits up, like say you hit like 130, 140, you're just gonna cure right here in the pail. So that's why I tell people never to do this. And that and I'm it's getting hot fast. I'm 136. I don't know, I kinda like it. This is risky. I don't know how far much further I should go. The hot. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Is it oh my god, everything's so hot. So hot. Okay, I'm gonna get it a little hotter because I want these drips. Mary Mellon said you're misleading the public on refinishing their own in business of refinishing for 30 years. In the business? How, how, if, how am I misleading the public? And what's her name? Mary Tyler Moore? Mary Mellon. Mary Mellon? Hey, Mary, you got melons? <laughs> you should come to the class. Um, they love this table, though. Let us know how we're miseducating, because I definitely love educating people. I haven't done it for 30 years. I became successful Jason, a lot this time. Jason, of course, is standing up for us, per years. You guys are amazing. I love my customers. He's the bomb. But you know, anytime, if you want to come, Mary Mellons, to my class, I would love to see you. So, Mary I support Mary Mellons 100%. Talk <laughs> shit, I'll promote you. We'll do a whole bunch of comments here and promote them on our channel. And we'll even have your tips and tricks. How to get Mary or not. They're all like yelling at her. It's funny. You're misleading the public. Tell them how to do something I don't do. What if my customers see Levi doing something cool and then they expect me to do something cool? You just don't like that I don't have Mary Mellons and people still like me. They oh. said... <laughs> Mary, these tits are all natural, 100%. Um, they said you won my heart out with this countertop. My heart out? I love you. Hey, Mary Mellons, anybody that wants to buy this when they're done, all you have to do for any of my projects, Mary Mellons, is you donate anything you want to to some of the um, charitable causes of ours. <laughs> And I will ship this to you. And usually I make you guys just pay for shipping. Oh, if Mary Mellons, if you want this, I'll ship it to you for free. You know, anything I do. You, do, you could have like a ceremonial burning of my pieces. Be like, that asshole. How do they take your, um, the workshop? How do you take a workshop? Talk to Mary Mellons. No, I'm kidding. Go to the <laughs> I'll stop teasing you, Mary Mellons. I love you. She's my favorite person, though. Um... I got a major. I will fly. Would you fly like Tosh 2.0? Would you fly out to meet us, Mary Mellons, for a redemption? <laughs> if I flew you here, Mary Mellons, would you fly here an interview with me? They're all just laughing I'm at you. I'm serious. I will pay for you to fly here. I'll put you up in a hotel, and you can even borrow one of my badass trucks if you have a good driving record. But you got to interview. we got to have an interview with Mary Mellons. If you want to come to a class, anybody on this live, you comment and say, we're here. Say glitter code glitter from this live specifically and if you call during today and you say code glitter you can have any free classes you want so uh, sign up for a free class of mine and you don't have to pay but it has to be somebody from this live code glitter how class. much is the class how much is the class 349 and you get three long days of <laughs> pouring and mixing product with me that here and for if Mary Mellons comes here just think we'll even advertise that Mary Mellons is coming to class <laughs> But here for a good time guy, like yeah. he's our installer or something, he said, Mary Mellon's getting dragged. <laughs> Mary Mellon's, we love you. We have nothing against you, Mary Mellon. Are you still there? I don't there, think Mary so. Mellon? Please say something, Mary Mellon. I'm, I'm afraid you got sad and left. 
Are you using our countertop epoxy for this? I am using this is just countertop. And dude, I can't believe did we just get that poured at a hundred and that's crazy. I can't believe we were probably over, well over 140 degrees when I poured that. Which yeah. Oh yes, I have a bunch of things for you. I'm about to do my big trick of to wow the crowd of the things they should not do. I don't know that I wowed any crowds, let me be honest. I'm not going to anymore. So. Just remember, you don't have your mic for them. I don't have my microphone? Not for them, for me. I stole it. Oh! So if you torch, they might not hear you. Oh yeah, yeah, they don't hear you as well. <laughs> but. I'll just do the quiet fire only. Mary Mellons, I'm here to educate you. They said lesson in snark. What's that? They said is lessons in snark included? <laughs> lessons in snark. It's like a living up. Welcome to a day with Levi. When I left the military, I, it was really hard for me to get. Okay, this is funny. I became a sergeant in the Marine Corps, and you want to know what they call me? Bleeding heart Comstock. That was a pussy. I, I could never be mean to people. They'd tell me to go yell at people, and I'd be like, oh, he was a good guy. He didn't deserve it. He was probably really tired. I was just. I couldn't be a ball buster, but then I realized in the civilian world, I was a little more of a ball buster than what normal people were. People don't like it. So. Mary Mellon said, you all have given me a good laugh today. Mary Mellon's, I love it. <laughs> and, and I guarantee you, she <laughs> Ooh, she said, she said, I would expect no less from amateurs. <laughs> Mary Mellon. She seems I'm an awesome. I'm amateur in porn, not with epoxy. Kind of so like her. To, come to, I like Mary. Mary Mellons, I'm not joking. You come to one of our classes, I will literally, free class, I'll pay for your airfare. All you have to do is show up. And I would love to learn from you. And I'm not kidding. I would do a segment on Mary Mellons and let everybody learn from her. And just show us what you do. Let's check out, everybody here, check out Mary Mellons' page. Because usually, one thing I've learned is when people talk shit, it's usually the most capable, amazing person in the room with most of the most amazing work on their page to show. And people like us just don't accept it because we suck. So somebody said, "I love Le Levi, friggin' killing me." <laughs> so Mary Mellons, I love you. You come out to class and you can salt bake. Mary Mellons, how do you like this shit? Oh, Mary Mellons, <laughs> wait the hell! You know what? I ain't gonna blast that. I'll spray that way. Mary Mellons, watch this shit. What's happening? Oh, it's going down. Oops. Mary Mellons, you ever seen this? This is a leaf blower. And glitter. 35 years? Not even one of your melons is saying something that's crazy. <laughs> and that's educating. I bet your customers are like my I don't know why, but I keep thinking of Mary Mo. What's that? Like Mary Mo, that song. Mary Mo is well, She's a vegetarian. Are you a vegetarian, Mary Mo? Somebody wants their whole kitchen like this. She don't lack a pop and they said your personality is awesome. My personality is sexy. You know, I'm only 5'8 <laughs> and I'm a ginger. And I learned very young that I better have a personality because I have a big, huge, swinging personality. Personality. Since I'm, since I'm a 5'8 white guy, that's what I have to have a personality. Don't you realize this? Mary Mellons, you kind of love it. You kind of need it. Oh, look at this. Mary Mellon's just, this just too many you a, I think I found Mary Mellon's glitterous, and that's what she's mad about. Mary Mellon's, did I find your glitterous? <laughs> They're all just like you? saying the funniest comments about her. It's so funny. Um, I'm liking They are. love this though. Love it. It's like time to worry here, kiddos. They said, is that a glitter gun? This is like a. DeWalt glitter guns. Yeah, a DIY. You know why the DeWalt glitter guns? They're usually miss. Most of the DeWalt made glitter guns are um, accidentally labeled as leaf blowers in the gardening department at Lowe's. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. You ask them where the glitter guns are, and everybody in Home Depot acts all lost. Like they don't know what you're talking about. They usually, like, I can't remember her name now. Mary Tits. Or whatever it is. I can't remember your name. But. They said, Are you making this countertop for Bud Light? Bud Light? <laughs> This is Bud Light's countertop. No, this is Mary Moe's countertop. And then the very final thing I do here, guys, is I'm going to spray alcohol. Again, probably a really unprofessional move. I'm going to glitz this with alcohol. And it's also going to it's going to help a lot of this glitter settle into the epoxy instead of settle on top. 
and we'll give it that lap, that kind of a final way better pop. And then I'm gonna pour clear over this. I might have to actually do this a few times because I'm thinking I want these drips going like a mile long of glitter. They said it's the risk, wrist action for me. It's the wrist action. You know what? I haven't practiced wrist action since I was <laughs> called, so. Oh my Mary Mo, I hope I honestly, in real life, I hope I honestly didn't uh, thank you, and I hope you had an amazing day. And whatever you're stressed about in life, this obvious you're stressed, I honestly hope it gets better. And if you just want to come to class and just hang out with me or something like that, or we go on a drive and I tell you how awesome I am, we can do that too. <laughs> Where are we located? We're in Western Colorado. It's a town called Grand Junction. And now it's beautiful to come and visit. Just go ever live here. You have to know the people. So beautiful. There's a downtown area, stay in a hotel. Okay, you don't think that's that? What's in your spray? It's not the most depressing table I've ever done. I don't know. I'm happy with it. What was in your spray? The spray was just a clear alcohol. So clear 99% isopropyl. There's not as much glitter landing in this as I was hoping, but I'm gonna let these drips keep forming and then I'm coming back with another bag and I'm gonna blow glitter into dripping drips because. When anything drips, you blow glitter on it. So, here we go. <laughs> now, back to my, I love back to my it. beautiful glitter broadcaster. <laughs> and my real color is this, which is what we actually came here for. We all know that. We came here for this token. Yes. I'm not messing it up, right? I'm gonna be shaking and worried. I'm, this is this guy's I'm actually a little stressed about because this tub matters to me. That little door I just did that pissed off Mary Moe. This here is probably the big mistake I make today that if stay tuned, you can probably laugh a lot more Mary Mo if you really want, because you'll probably be right about this when I mess it up, because I've never just broadcast this. Do we do floors? We do really floors. Quick. Now let me clean the glitter out of this before I go blow that on my tub. <laughs> Super professional, Mary Mo. So it's okay. Here goes nothing. I am going to try to be broadcasting a very fine nest of powder, and this is a very iridescent color shift powder out onto this tub. Gonna go really slow. They want to know what you're pouring on there. This is a color shift powder that we sell there at Countertop Epoxy. Beautiful. This tub is turning half purple, half green. And I still have a little ways to go, guys. Is still commenting that it's Mary Mo, is you here still, girl? You're just here because you say I love you. 
Does somebody tell you they love you? I will. Well, you come to my live every day and I'll tell you I love you. And pretty soon you'll just come back to that. Come to my class, I'll give you a hug. You'll find out life's not as bad as you think it was. And then my work probably way worse than you thought it was. Somebody sent us like a burger and fries. Burger and fries. Dude, somebody sent me exactly what I like. I'm just gonna do one second here, guys. Okay, my final little dusting for prints here. My final dusting for fingerprints on that. Oh, the green is really popping. The other day, I went to pick up one of my leaf blowers, and I, I, I was just trying to clean a floor, and I just grabbed it. That was the floor out there we were pouring, and I hit it, and it was just more glitter and powder came out of the it. So I definitely made the floor dirtier. I just have glitter on all my tools in case somebody steals it. Can you epoxy over tile? Say what? Can you epoxy over tile? You can epoxy over tile, and often we do. And now, you have one tube. We'll let this kind of calm down. We'll get our final shot of this. Hopefully you guys can see the color shift that we were trying to get in this. And there's our soaker tub. Will you coat this after this, or? Um, I may or may not. I'm not sure if I will or not, to be honest. I do not know. I'm excited though. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching the live. I know I'm in a little bit of a dusty room here. Thank you guys so much for watching the live. I appreciate you guys for watching coming out. Please hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the follow button if you want to see more. And Mary, I forget your last name. Mary, Mary said good luck with your art projects. Mary Titties, please come out to a class and you're going to love everything we do here. Um, I love you and I'll watch out for you. If you ever need to come to my class, I will fly you here for free. You come to a free class and you get to eat for free. I don't know how much you like to eat, but I'm guessing a lot. And you're going to like everything. We have burgers, we have everything. So. 
you come to my class, I'll drive you, I'll chauffeur you, I'll tell you super funny jokes, and I'll hug you every day. So thank you. The rest of you guys, I don't know. You'd have to be like Mary. So God bless you all. Have an awesome day. Kill a pedophile before I see you.